changing pages. How about eyes? I, I watch or I subscribe to Mark Crowley on YouTube and he's always doing videos on eyes or mouse or specific parts. Um, and his videos are pretty good. Um, they're pretty good. I mean, not a whole lot to complain about. Um, I think a lot of the people who watch his videos, though, are the typical um, anime fan art people. I mean, I see them all the time on DeviantArt. They do fan arts. They aren't really good, and they just kind of stay at that level of, of skill. They don't really progress or get any higher. And it's because of what I'm telling you. Notice the stuff around you. Look around. Um, they will look at art and be like, oh, awesome, or, you know, a DVZ cover or something, and they'll draw it, and they'll be like, yeah, that, that's all right, and then their friends will be like, yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome, Every everybody around them will say, yeah, that's awesome, that's great, and because everybody's saying, yeah, it's awesome, that's great, they don't really feel the need to get any better, they're like, yeah, everybody loves my stuff, hell yeah, so... I just told a, a friend of mine recently, um, he's had this creative burst and, and he's all like, I'm now realizing that I have so much more to learn. And and I told him, I'm like, yeah, it's, that, that reminds me of what happened to me in high school. I got stagnant. Um, I didn't really progress or anything for like three weeks. All my drawings were really crappy. They just went down. I wasn't getting any better. I wasn't staying the same. I was getting worse. It was because everybody's, everybody kept on telling me you're the shit and all that, you know. Um, of course, I wasn't the shit looking back, you know. All the stuff was still really crappy. Um, but I didn't feel any need to strive or get better or notice it, anything. Um, so everything just kind of remained and stayed the same. Um, I'm going to start drawing these eyes while talking to you. Um, what you really have to do, if you're going through this stagnant kind of nothing kind of phase and everything you do is really really crappy and it's pissing you off and getting you frustrated don't get frustrated realize that you have so much more to learn realize that you suck um, and I'm not being mean I had to tell myself that I sucked constantly I told myself that I sucked and I progressed so much in just a year I, I really buckled down and I actually read the anatomy books instead of just looking at the fancy pictures and going, oh, oh, I actually looked at the muscles and everything and, and studied them. And then I created my own charts and I repeated the charts and I shall only repeat it once. But I mean, and then in my sketchbook, I would just, instead of drawing Superman fighting somebody, I would draw Superman, but just minus the costume and all the muscles. Um... It's one of the best ways before you start getting uh, realistic in, in your studies. Um, just uh, because not every muscle is flexing. Draw, draw all the muscles flexing and just outline the muscles. If you're going to draw somebody doing something. Um, draw like Superman punching. But don't put on the costume. Don't do any of that. And draw the muscles. Focus on the muscles and, and, and just that. So you can get an idea of where all the muscles are. And what they do, um, I, I shouldn't say what they do. That would, that would be the next step to see how the muscles react when, how how they push and pull and stretch and bend and all that. It's the stuff that that Jim Lee really um, really stresses. Well, from what I hear, because um, he studied from one of the greats. Jeez, I can't can't remember the name now. Anyway. Um, Anyway, yeah, just focus on the muscle groups, where they are, proportions, the relation of one thing to another, you know, um, and tell yourself that you suck all the time. I still tell myself that I suck sometimes, um, and I get better, and I practice more and more. Not really more and more, practice. Yeah, I practice more than I did in high school. But still, I practiced quite a bit in high school. Um, the changes that you'll notice is that the art that you're doing starts taking longer. 
and and it's looking better. Um, patience is a key key tool. Um, I'm still working on patience. I suck at patience. But anyway, um, back to where I'm drawing over here. I'm drawing two kinds of eyes. As you can tell, both of them are kind of different. Um, this one is fusion American and anime kind of fusion deal. Um, because the eyelashes are really bulked together. And you can see that. And then this one, the, eye, the eyelashes are kind of flaky. Um, not flaky like danger flaky, but, you know, they're not all clumped together like that. Um, I'm saying clumped, but I mean, it's not less sexy or more sexy. It's just the style. Um, there aren't individual ones. They're all together in here, kind of uh, detailing them all separately. And then the eye, um, you usually want the eye to touch the bottom. And then a little bit more can go up top. So where I have it, more is going up top than is going down below. And then the pupil usually touches right there. There we go. And then anime, it's more different, bigger, longer. Like that, more highlights. It's more stylized. Um, so there you go.